Alrighty, today it is all about one of the best fitness equipments you can bring with yourself to practically anywhere in the world. Its flexibility in the way you can replicate most gym exercises is unparalleled compared to a lot of other carryable equipment, so to speak. We are, of course, talking about resistance bands. Its biggest selling points are it's pretty cheap, it is pretty inexpensive, comes in various different lengths, various different resistances that allows you to scale it to your level. Now, the flexibility comes in very handy as multiple single joint exercises that you can perform typically can be done with a lot of weight. We're talking about exercises such as lateral raises, rear delt flies, bicep curls, tricep pushdowns, and other exercises that include the smaller muscle groups. They're relatively small in nature and thus can be carried in just about any small sized backpack. The great thing that also comes into play is its ability to also upscale the difficulty of your exercises. This for the most part includes pushing movements such as the dips, the single leg squats, push-ups and most other push patterns. And likewise, flipping the switch, even though it can be used as effectively to downscale these moves to your level, it can still be used to do it on pulling exercises, such as the pull-up, for example, the muscle-up, inverted bodyweight rows and whatnot. Now, as mentioned, it comes in various sizes, and this in turn allows you, allows you to have an amazing pump workout that usually cannot be done effectively with no equipment, typically because isolating muscle groups is difficult using just your own body weight. Other more notable downsides mostly include the fact that resistance is not usually even, as typically you get the most amount of help at the bottom or the eccentric end of a movement compared to the very end, such as, for example, in a push-up. Going all the way down will provide you with the least amount of resistance, whilst coming back up increases the resistance the closer you are to locking out your, your elbows. So it's not really fair to say it's considered the holy grail equipment, but it definitely deserves the spot up there. Now, going back to our single joint moves, the bands shine here the most. Think of moves such as face pulls, for example, coveted as one of the best shoulder girdle injury prevention moves. Scapular stability and overall shoulder strength, the bands will allow you to have amazing high rep warmups and even higher intensity, lower reps, as previously mentioned. They can also transcend typical weightlifting move patterns and can be used for exercises beyond, for example, stuff like shadow boxing with increased resistance. So you're pretty much free to think outside of the box practically like all the time. If you like this type of content, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much.